Osteoarthritis, the gradual wear and tear of joints, is the common enemy we speak of when addressing joint issues. On the other hand, rheumatoid arthritis is a more inflammatory adversary. The supplements targeting these ailments aim at either reinforcing the joint structure or diminishing the inflammation. Consider glucosamine, a cornerstone supplement in this battle. It's akin to a foundational block for cartilage, providing cushioning for our joints. The landscape of studies on glucosamine is a mixed terrain. Many suggest a significant improvement in pain management, particularly with knee osteoarthritis, and an enhancement in joint function. Yet, some studies traverse less convincing paths, leading to debates over its efficacy due to inconsistent quality and evidence. It's a long journey with glucosamine, often three to six months, sometimes longer. Noticeable effects might appear after a month, and prolonged usage up to two to three years indicates a low risk of significant side effects. The daily march with glucosamine typically involves 1,500 mg. Then there's chondroitin, another ally in this fight, especially for osteoarthritis. It's another building block of cartilage, helping retain moisture and resist breakdown. Chondroitin might also reduce inflammation and encourage repair in joint tissues. Its effectiveness, like a battlefield, varies. Some studies show moderate success, particularly in knee osteoarthritis, while others report minimal impact. Usually, chondroitin is combined with glucosamine with a recommended dose around 1,000 mg. In the case of rheumatoid arthritis, where inflammation is more pronounced, omega-3 fatty acids come into play. They are known for their anti-inflammatory effects, aiding in pain reduction and improving mobility. This supplement requires patience, it's a long-term strategy, often extending over several months. The typical dosage is 1 to 2 grams per day, sometimes more, and it serves as a complementary, not primary, treatment. Lastly, curcumin, derived from turmeric, enters the fray with its anti-inflammatory properties, potentially easing osteoarthritis pain. Additionally, vitamin D deficiency has been linked to joint and bone pain, suggesting that supplementing vitamin D might alleviate joint discomfort in some cases. In summary, the effectiveness and journey with these supplements are as varied as the individuals who embark on them. They represent a long, steady march, rather than a quick sprint, towards managing joint problems.